Hi, I'm Imogen Lamport from Bespoke Image and Inside Out Style blog. Today I'm going to talk to you about choosing hair colours and how to find a flattering hair colour. So if you know if you're warm or cool, that really helps because it narrows down the ranges. But if you're not sure, just go to your hairdresser and ask them to bring out all their samples. Then start having a look at them on your skin. Your skin should look healthy and even. If it looks red or ruddy, that color is not going to make you look great. Um, it's actually gonna heighten any sort of redness you have in your skin. And often I'll see someone who has, you know, a kind of red face and I'll think, oh, their hair is just too gold or it's too copper because all I'm seeing is it's bringing out the red tones in their face, which is not necessarily flattering. So, first thing you wanna do is look at how dark your hair is naturally and find what we call your natural level. So when I look at my hair, my natural color is somewhere around here. So when you look at that, that works with my skin. Now, I tend to find you don't want to go more than at most one to two darker or between two and four lighter. When you go really dark, it starts looking very hard and harsh and witchy in a way. And if you go too light, you can kind of just bleach out your appearance if you're used to having darker hair. So I want to find something that's in a range here that suits my complexion. Now these are natural colors, they're neither warm or cool, so they're pretty much, they work for everybody. But a lot of people want to add something else in. Now I'm very cool in my coloring, so I could look at these ash-based colors. And they will work much better for me than these gold base colors where you can see that suddenly you're seeing the hair. So this blonde here, which doesn't suit me, is very obvious. And in fact, if I had my hair that color, all you would see is my hair, you wouldn't see my face. Now, even though this blonde here is more gray, notice you still see my facial features and that color blends with me. It looks much more natural. I might not go that gray, but if I was going to go blonde, it would be an ash blonde, not a golden blonde. Now, maybe I want some other colors. So if I went copper, what you notice is you see the hair first again. Um, and in fact, it makes me start to go quite ruddy and red looking. But if I wanted some color, I could actually go into the purple or the violet tones because they're cool. So these copper ones are warm, these violet ones are cool. So really, it all depends on your coloring about what suits you, but really, it's really quite easy to see what suits you when you put the samples close to your, to your face. I find with all my clients, as soon as we get these samples out and we start having a look at them, it's very easy for them to see what works for them and what doesn't. So next time you're at your hairdresser, get them to get out some samples and start getting to have a look and say that's what I want it to look like when it's finished. They might not use that exact dye, they might need to mix a couple of things to your, turn your hair colour into the colour you want, but that's the effect you're after. Thanks for watching.